Hi everyone, in this video we're going to work on the integral of 1 over x squared plus 5x plus 6 dx. This is a really good candidate for the technique of partial fractions. So there are three main steps that I recommend for this type of problem if you are working on this by hand. Later in the video I will show how to do this in Maple. Step one, factor the denominator. And our denominator factors as 1 over x plus 3 times x plus 2. Step two, if we're working this by hand, we want to choose the form. And you can go into your favorite calculus textbook for the forms. But I've just given you a sense of three types of forms here with uh, numbers in them instead of the subscripts um, that you often see in textbooks because sometimes the notation is a little bit tricky to read through. So this is just an example. Um, we're not working with 3x plus 1, etc. But this is just an example if you had distinct linear factors or an irreducible quadratic, etc. Um, that would give you a sense of your setup. Now for our problem here, we do have distinct factors because they're different. Each factor is distinct or unique and they're linear because we don't have any x squared or x cubed terms down here in the denominator. Everybody is just x to the one. So we've got distinct linear factors. So I'm going to set up my form as a over x plus three plus b over x plus two. And then step three, I want to solve for the unknowns. And at this step, I'll start to type in a little bit so that we can get a sense of how to work through this together. I've got my fraction that I was given, 1 over x plus 2 times x plus 3. And I've uh, written my partial fraction decomposition here with the a and the b. If I have a over x plus 3 plus b over x plus 2, and I want to add those fractions together, I need to find a common denominator. So I've gone through and I've multiplied my first fraction times x plus 2 over x plus 2, and I've done the same thing with the second fraction so that now we have common denominators. In fact, we have common denominators on both the left and the right hand side of the equations. So I think you would agree if I multiply everybody through, by this denominator, I'll be just left with the equation 1 equals a times x plus 2 plus b times x plus 3. Let's distribute. Let's collect like terms. On the left hand side I have 0 x's plus 1. On the right hand side I have a plus b amount of x's plus in terms of my constants, I've just got a 2a two, two plus a 3b. So now let's equate all the terms with x. So on the left hand side, I have 0x equals, on the right hand side, a plus bx. Therefore, if x's are the same on both sides, I must have the case that 0 equals a plus b. For my constants on the left, I have 1, and on the right, I have 2a plus 3b. At this point, uh, you could use a system of equations if you've taken linear algebra. We can also just solve and say a equals negative b and substitute that into my second equation. and we find that a is negative one and b is one. So let's rewrite what we found. a is negative one and b is one. And so now in terms of integrating this, this problem, the integral would be the same as the integral of 1 over x plus 3 plus 1 over x plus 2. And I know that if I perform that, the antiderivative would be negative natural log absolute value of x plus 3 plus natural log absolute value of x plus 2 plus our constant of integration c. We can also make maple do the integration. 
So if I were to copy paste my integral, I'm in math mode, and I hit enter, and Maple gives me the exact same answer. I've asked Maple to convert the fraction to partial fractions, and the code is convert, parentheses, one over your fraction, comma, par frac, comma, x, because x is our variable. And again, we get exactly what we had found by hand. So there's a couple of different ways that you can explore Maple's computational power in this module.